Thoughtful Family. Today we have with us an artist, uh, Marvin, from the Eastern Region of Ghana. And um, we would like for him to, as always, tell us a little bit of something about yourself. So, the name is Marvin, like you said, Marvin Lazare, from the Eastern Region, but what to be precise. But currently, I'm in Dansola, Accra. So, um, where did you go to school, man? Um, I went to GHS at Salvation and I went to mm-hmm. and continued secondary school at the God in the Eastern Region. Okay, did you learn the art at school? Uh, actually, I learned a little bit. But... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so when did you become an artist? Uh, it's kind of like a new thing. And so my dad, who got it was, my um, granddad. What was it from your granddad? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. So why? So okay. So you chose to be an artist because your granddad was an artist. What type of art did he do? He was into painting and then portrait drawing. Okay. Okay. So, um, how do you work best? Do you work best in acrylic, ink? Um, yeah, I do on acrylic. I do all the pencil as well. Okay. Um, so, are you currently, do you, are you on any social media, um, do you follow any social media trends? Yeah, I'm following it. Okay. Do you post your art on, on social media? Okay. Yeah, often you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, and what do you do for a living other than, do you, have a secondary career with an art? Yeah, currently I'm working with an agency, recruitment agency. Okay. okay. So when so when you find time for your art, do you need quiet? Do you need uh, open space? What what actually I read best book was individual or in a card. Um so can you tell us a little about the purpose behind your work? Uh, what does your work aim to say? What do you want to say with it? Okay, it shows the landscape and sceneries we have in this world, such as um, the lighthouse, mm-hmm. Atakwa, Kwame mm-hmm. Kumon Museum, still Atakwa, mm-hmm. and some other buildings somewhere in Kumasi, Atakwa, mm-hmm. even the palace, okay. Atakwa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, and um, if you could, could you do could you do this for me? Uh, yeah, I think I could do it for you. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, and um, if you can tell us what's the purpose behind your work, what uh, what does it bring out of you? What is your um, what do you want to say? What do you want me to get from it? I, it shows how beautiful our landscape and our terrace sites are in Ghana here, mm-hmm. such as the lighthouse I mentioned. Okay. It's one of uh, Ghana's largest tourist sites that tourists always visit when they come to the country. Okay. All right. All right. And um, hmm. so, so if I were uh, seeing your artwork for the first time on social media and I was in the United States and I saw the lighthouse um, portrayed by you then maybe that might want to that might bring me oh, that's very nice I would love to come exactly. uh-huh. uh, so that's the exact features of the lighthouse itself mm-hmm. the front side and the back and the other side okay mm-hmm. okay and um, so it would be like um, 3D. Yeah, it's 3D. Uh-huh. Okay. And it's collapsible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And so if I were in the US and I'm looking at your work on, on social media, is there a way while I'm, while I'm there that I see your work? Is there something there that I would be able to see? Oh, I can come here and go there, and I can meet Marvin, and I can get this particular artwork. Exactly. Okay. Um. So, when you paint or when you uh, project your work, 
what what feel other feelings do you intend to convey with the with the uh, planning of it? Um, what do you want me to get from it? What what feeling? Just that Ghana is a lovely place to visit. Um, okay, the feeling is actually that you know, it's not everyone that gets to come to the turret site themselves, mm -hmm. but from the look of the artwork, you get to know how it looks like and how it was made and everything. So even from wherever you are, you know how the lighthouse or whatever uh, portrayed looks like in real. Okay, okay. and um, and so you've, that pretty much tells me how the artwork reflects what you see around you, uh, because you are um, you're doing portraits of things that you see every day in yeah. Ghana. Uh, so, what is your biggest influence? Who is your biggest influence? To okay, um, actually, my dad. Okay. Yeah. And what, what what about what does he do? Does he? Uh, he's very good at acrylic paints. Okay. Yeah, he can make a portrait, and he, he would be back to even difficult to even see the difference between mm -hmm. the abstract itself and then the real thing. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Um. And is there any particular uh, person or thing that is your biggest inspiration? Yeah, Mark Damien. Who is it? And it's an Italian um, draftsman. Oh, okay. He's also uh -huh. into the paper craft. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Well, uh, that you know, that's good. I have never heard of him, but I will look him up. Sure. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a small break here, a combo and we will come back with Marvin in a few minutes. Welcome back to Komabako. We're here with Marvin, who is telling us about his artwork. Um, Marvin, is any of our artwork in galleries? Where do you display your work? Okay, I don't have any art gallery. I don't have any art in any art gallery at the moment. Okay, so you don't have a a place where you set up and display anything. Okay, we we have this festival I've been doing at Accra every year. Mm -hmm. Called the Charlotte Festival. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I normally take it there and showcase it, not for sale though. Okay. Just to showcase okay. it. Um, so, um, let's see. so, how are you financing your work other than if you do the festival? Do you actually, because you said you don't sell it in the festival, how do you finance it, in other words? Actually, when it comes to art, actually, I. I also do face painting. Okay. That okay. one I do, and I, I get a little money. Okay. Like okay. I remember one time I had a contract at a Mhm. Mm every mm -hmm. Sunday for four months. Okay. And every day I had the money that I was taking. Mm -hmm. I was using that money to finance my art and my craft. Okay. Okay. So is it a donation that you you someone can offer? Say that. Say I want my face painted. Do you have a, you don't put a price on it? Do you just do it by donation? How do you do it? Okay, with this painting, it depends on wherever I'm going to do it. Okay. Like churches like this, uh, a number of 100, 100 people, mm -hmm. 100 children, as a price. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to shops, schools, and then restaurants, normally, mm -hmm. like the one I had that I was talking about, the four months one, it was a restaurant at KFC. Okay. Yeah, it was it was a uh, a program to promote their their buying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's 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 good. Okay. Um. So and right now, are you working on any projects? Anything? Yeah, I'm working on a particular project. It's it's not coming well, but I, I know it's it, it's gonna be pushed through. Okay. I'm trying to come up with a comic book museum. Okay. Which is really giving me a hard time, but I know I'll never be pushed through. Yeah. Okay. It takes a lot of calculations and analysis and a whole lot, but I'm still pushing very hard. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And do you have anyone who is encouraging, backing you at the moment? 
Yeah, my mom, my mom. Wonderful. My mom gives me inspiration. Okay, and then um, you had told us about earlier about um, what you like to, um, you know, what your artwork is, the architect of a fraud. Do you, how do you seek out new opportunities? So you've already, say you've already um, did a 3D portrait of the lighthouse, or do you uh, ever you know, decide, okay, I'm going to do a painting with this, or I'm going to do something else with this? Actually, the lighthouse came into mind when the third edition of Charlotte Festival was coming up. Mm -hmm. Everyone was talking about this lighthouse, lighthouse, people taking pictures of the lighthouse and all that. So I decided to come up with a 3D dimension of the lighthouse. Okay. So I had to go all the way to Accra, study the lighthouse for about a week, mm -hmm. the ins and the outs, the side view, even climb up to where the light is, okay. and all that, to come up with a better structure of the lighthouse. And we're going to have a look at them, the, the, uh, the lighthouse. The lighthouse. Sure. Um, 3D image in a, yeah. in a minute. And that's a collapse of it. Okay, we're going to have a look at that in a, in a few minutes. Um, now, how do you uh, how do you get a collector base? How do you because uh, you have to showcase your work in order for people to say, oh, I like that. I want to collect. I want to put that in my uh, my art collection. How do you do that? How do you get your work out there to people? Like I said earlier, the art festivals, that is one. I take pictures of it. And how videos. often are those? It comes every year. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, every year. And it's hosted for a week. Mm -hmm. yeah, people come to showcase any type of art. Mm -hmm. Paper crafts, portrait art, mm -hmm. acrylic painting, landscape, and any type of art. Okay, what about, um, do you ever um, do any competitions? Actually, I'm not doing any, I'm not even heading the competition. Okay. All, all I hear is fun fairs and art festivals. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Um, so, uh, let's see, so how, how do you, do you study other artists? I know we had talked, we had talked about this, so do you, how, um, do you navigate um, the art world? How do you study other artists and what they do? Do you, you know, um, do you sit down with their work and say, oh, I can try to do something like that with this? How do you do it? Okay, like Macdamian, mm -hmm. my model. Uh, he inspired me to start his paper art and craft. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's very good at it and he's done so many paper card that when you see you're going to go wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So I just look at some of his videos and then I try to imitate some of his works and yeah that is how come I was able to start with the paper card. Okay, okay. These are the things that I don't know, so I'm glad you're you're here to explain. Um so okay um, so I want I want you to present some of the artwork that you have. Okay. now with you we wanted to show um, and we will do that after we take a little break and when we come back I'll have you show us um, some of the artwork that you have with us with, with you sure. okay we're going to take another break and when we come back Marvin is going to show us some of his artwork Back to Akoma Bako. Um, Marvin is going to show us some of his work. Marvin, and you explain, please. Like I was saying, this is the lighthouse. Ah, nice. As you can see, it's all done now because it's, it's been four years now since I did it. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. The third edition of the Channel Winter Festival. That is when I made this. It's like that. Very nice. And it's, it's like a, a 3D folding card. Mm-hmm. I need it in my face. 
we just let you see the door and the windows. Okay. Then as it is at a car like ours. Okay, great. When we get back to you see windows. Okay. Just as it is at a car like ours. Like I said, in the before, yeah, that's why it looks all turned up like this. Yes. But I have another one that is current. Mm -hmm. It looks nicer than this one. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. So the inspiration for this particular practice, um, during the year 2016, mm -hmm. everybody was talking about this lighthouse, lighthouse, going to Charlotte Festival to enter this lighthouse event. It's not everybody now gets to go to the lighthouse because during that time you have to pay before you climb. Yeah. So I mean this so that people that who do not get the chance to go near or go into this particular building yes. will have a feel of how it looks like and everything. Okay. And the reason why I mean it is because I've never so been to I've been to the lighthouse, but I've never actually been mm -hmm. in. Yeah, so in the top where you have the the round part here can people actually go up there yeah people oh, walk okay. around here uh -huh. in, in the middle here is where the light is okay but i couldn't attach uh -huh. a light or cover it up because if i did i wouldn't be able to go with it oh, okay okay thank you and the reason why i made it collapsible like this mm -hmm. i had to travel with it from wherever i was to accra yeah and making it just like this was going to dismantle or get it done so I have to make it in a way that it will be collapsible. And it will stay clean. And it will be very easy for yes. transportation. Yes. Such that anywhere I get, I can just put it down and open it and you still have your 3D. Right, 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 right. Okay, I got you. I understand. Very nice. Can you show us some more? So this is another one. This is one of the recent ones. I made it just last year. Uh -huh. Still because of the Charlotte Festival. Uh -huh. But yeah, this one actually doesn't portray any building or any kind of game. Mm -hmm. oh, it's um, Magdemia made a copy of this and it was so nice that I also wanted to do it. Even uh -huh. though it gave me a hard time, but I, I still, I, I was determined, so I was able to do it. Mm -hmm. This actually took me about a week and three days. Okay. Uh -huh. That's almost 11 days. Now, come where up is this? this um, in a geographic view. You can look closely inside, you see uh -huh. lots of paper cards holding yes. up this particular thing, this one, this one, and uh -huh. then this one as well. Oh, okay. Yes. And I also made it collapsible to make it easy for transportation because I was going from the house to the child of the person. Uh -huh. Nice. Very nice. And the colors here is not just any acrylic paint or any color, it's just a color set that I used. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Great. And so far, this is the biggest among all the paper cards that I have. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So, I also made this when I made the one you saw before this one, the yellow one. Mm -hmm. Ah. Um, nice. Actually, this one also doesn't talk about anything, but it's, it it's all about the flow. Yes. I when you're opening it, like a pyramid. Yes, exactly. Very nice. Of course. Very nice. If you don't think that you might think it's an alien ship. So I, I was basing on the flow. Mm -hmm. That is how come I came up with this particular craft. Very and this is not the, just the only one on this particular paper. Okay. Ah. Now that we one reminds me. Too, which also doesn't talk about anything. Even though some people mm -hmm. say it looks like a building in the back. I don't know. It how looks that's like true. a building I've seen before. Nice. It's like ah. Uh, but actually, I was just looking at the flow. Yes. Very nice. But it seems like something I've seen before. A place I've been. Yeah, I get that a lot. Yes. 
in the next one. Nice. It's just a box in the box in the box. Uh, okay. Just like saying when you want to hide something from the black man, you put it in the package, in the package, and then <laughs> in the package again. <laughs> And the last one on this particular paper. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very nice. Oh. I, I see a place here too, <laughs> but I'm not sure. It's very nice. Actually, this one also gave me a hard time, but I pushed through successfully. It's it was also based on the flow. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So, with with your books like this, like this is almost like a um, a, a book. Um, how much, like the range, of the price range of something like that? Could you Actually, give me my hand? Hand? She comes to sell this. It's Four crafts in one paper. Mm -hmm. And this will go like from 200 cities to 600 cities. Okay. So I'm saying a particular market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Um, so do you want to show us any more? Do you have anything else? Uh, the one that is uh, a portrait hat. Ah, very nice. Is this, is this of a particular person? Uh, with this particular portrait, I was inspired by the water flowing in the lady's face. Yes. Very nice. Oh, can we hold it up? So this drawing took me uh, a week in three months. Ah, wow! I used seven days, but in three months. Now, and this is done in pencil. Yes, just pencil. Very nice. Graphite and charcoal pencil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. And then what is it laminated? How is it laminated? Is it, uh, what, what type of lamination? Oh, uh, it's just a rubber lamination, just to put that there at, in okay. case it, it, it's dissolved by oil or fall into water. Okay. Uh -huh. Very nice. Okay. All right. So now I want to ask, where can we go to follow, follow you? And um, say if someone is interested in purchasing any of your artwork, um, tell us where your website, your uh, social media handles are. Okay, my social media handle is Facebook, Kido Kid. Kido Kid. Yeah, mm -hmm. Instagram, Kido Pencils. Kido Pencils. And then Twitter, at Kido Pencils. Kido Pencils. Spell that? K Kido, K H Y D O. K-H-Y-D-O. K-H-Y-D-O. Okay. Well, welcome back, with family. We will be back in a couple of weeks or a week or so with a new guest. And we thank you for having us. And we appreciate all of your likes and appreciate your subscriptions. Please. Continue to like us and subscribe at Acoma Barco on YouTube and to visit our website at acomabarco.com. Thank you so much, Marvin, for coming and talking to us and showing us your wonderful artwork. And we will see you uh, next week. Thank you.
Uh, studios today we have with us a unique singer and musician from northern Ghana he and I met some time ago on social media could you tell us about yourself yeah Badingo is the name from Upper West in northwest of Ghana and I'm a reggae artist and a performance you know Okay, could you tell us where you were born? Um, I was born in, in up, up down south, Kumasi, Bokrum. Yeah, so I'm a Bokrum guy, yeah. And, you know, so, and I started my basic education and senior high school back in Upper West region. Yeah, so after completion, I have to come back down south, down Sakura, you know, to continue the vibes. So, why did you choose to become an artist? Uh, back, back at school, like primary level, you know, I used to uh, be part of the school drama, you know, by then, early 90, in the 90s, in Ghana, we have a cultural program they used to, you know, like bring all schools together to mm -hmm. compete. Uh, so and I was always part of the drama group. So and I think that that the the, the journey started there. Mm -hmm. So and then I take it up from there. Okay. So how do you work? How do you what what inspires you? Um, do you have a a studio that you work from? Mm -hmm. Specifically, I, was, I have a band that I play with, but I um, don't have my personal studio. So, so mm -hmm. I have a band which I, when I'm um, when I'm having a concert, which I'm mm -hmm. um, to play live. I use the band. I use my team and we go and play. But I record in different studios. So, so, so I don't have a personal studio for now. Mm -hmm. But I hope one day maybe I might have it. Okay, and now do you write your own music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All songs I did, uh, written all my songs, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And what inspired the song? What brought the song? I would say life. Yeah, you know, my kind of music um, is, I would say, is motivational. Is it your songs. Own life? Is it uh, life? It's just life. Just life. What in the society? Mm -hmm. I wake up in the society to write my songs, mm -hmm. and even if it's a love song, but you know, uh, it's different. Not those kind of like right. I, how will I say uh, profane songs. No, I don't do those kind of songs. But mm -hmm. even now to sing a love song, but it has a meaning. It has a storyline. Yeah. And what genre of music would you consider it to be? Um, I'm reggae and Afrobeat. That's what I do. Afrobeat. And sometimes a little high life because high life is our thing and we don't want it to go. So we combine everything together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and in my music, some of you put some African element on it, like instrumentation per se. So my year to release album, I'm putting up more African instrument on it, like the gong gong, the xylophone, and stuff like that, mm -hmm. to 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 you know change the dynamic, like from uh, not to westernize it. I just want to do something rhythms from the northern Ghana, or rhythm from Ghana. You see, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and can you? Um Tell us some of the people that you've worked with already in the industry. Oh, a lot. Back at North, I've worked with some of the artists there, like um, Legendary Abu Sadiq. I've worked with um, King Aisova. I've worked with 
another artist from a lot of artists in Napa West also Imura Yana, Yongali, um, Game Boy Kaute, Samson B, there's a lot of artists in Napa West where I'm from so I've done a lot of work over there with them and, and back in Accra too or Africa I've worked with um, Samini and I'm here to release a song but that one will be different project with Ismail Isaac one of the legendary reggae artists in Africa so and, and, and a Jamaican artist also we call her Empress Abiona she's in Jamaica so we did a project mm -hmm. which will be part of my upcoming album yeah okay and then is there any one artist who has motivated you to keep doing what you're doing uh, any yeah. One yeah, 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 yeah. I have so many mentors, but I think Aman Ziba Natbro is a very conscious, traditional, high life artist, and uh, he's my musical godfather. Mm -hmm. Then I have Tekinja Fakoli, I would say King of African Reggae now. So these are the two people that motivate me a lot. And my cousin Samini, too, I think he has motivated me a lot because uh, the first time I come to Accra I was staying with him for some time before uh, I, I depart myself back to the north and I return back and I'm now staying different place with him but we do link up sometimes yeah mm -hmm. so and how was it working with Amanzi? Yeah, yeah Amanzi what was did you, you know what was the fire? I've, was? I've learned a lot and he has given me a lot of opportunities also um, you know, me performing with Graham Morgan or the Morgan Heritage family and Amman Ziba himself, Ben Braco at any best on one stage is, is, is a plus and not only that, Amman Ziba has put him on levels that I never dreamed that I would have even been on. So I always give time for, for, for that and, and, and soon we'll be touring the world also together. Uh, with with, with Amanzi, but you know he has given me a lot of opportunities and, and me and him we have a lot of countless uh, music in the studio yet to be released so he is a god saint and he's a father to me yeah mm -hmm. okay well, that's, that's great <laughs> okay so uh come up uncle family we're gonna go to a short break and we'll be right back Welcome back to Koma Bako. Uh, we are here with Ibrahim. Uh, Badingo. Badingo. She can't pronounce my local <laughs> name. It's Badingo. Badingo. Yeah, it means uh, your desire or your will. Like, as we voted for the politicians, they are there doing their own thing. They are there doing their world and their desire, something like that. Yeah. Badingo. Badingo, yeah. Badingo, 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 madingo, and so go. <laughs> okay, okay. So I wanted to ask you, so how do you finance your product, your projects that you are doing? How do you get them financed? You know, I would say, uh, you know, like, like sometimes we have few sponsors coming on board to support, but it's not easy, you know. So and, and I, I I do some too personally my my with the small resource I have mm -hmm. I add it up to the funding that I get from friends and sponsors to you know uh, come out with with, with with that yeah okay okay um and do you have any upcoming festivals planned um you know last year I did festival up I was which was massive but not the way i want it to be because everything beginning you know mm -hmm. uh, has the difficulties and stuff so um, the second edition will be coming somewhere in october in 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 in, 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 in the upper west region which i think it will be great 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 so we hoping and praying to get a lot of sponsors so that we can bust it up yeah that's good okay so, um, 
I know that you do the Peace Project every year. Will you be doing uh, this project again this year? Yeah, um, you know, uh, 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 I started this initiative in, in, since 2012. So the 2012 election, I did um, one, which is Norian, which means unity. Mm -hmm. uh, and I always target my region, that's Upper West Sun. The first edition, we taught some part of the districts, and, and then a peace song was released, which featured about eight artists from the Upper West. And in and, 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 uh, when was that? 2012, mm -hmm. and we have when was the 2016 also? I did another one. And then I think uh, we are in election year again, and then, and then I'm coming out with something again. And with this, we have a peace song recorded, and then uh, we shoot a video, um, come up with a concept in Tumu and Wa. Tumu is the Sasara part, one of the districts in Upper West. And then we have we we'll climax the concert in what the original capital here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've told us some about the past collaborations you've done. Um, do you have any collaborations planned in yeah. the near future? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this album, I'm, I'm, I'm featuring some few artists, not much. Um, I'll be having a song with uh, We Are. Uh, we have a one too with um, Amanziba and King Ayusova. Then I'll uh, feature some few upcoming artists too from the north. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Um, and you have you said you have a an upcoming album. Album. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Which is welcome to our powers. It is titled. It will be a twelve track album. You know, mm -hmm. with title "Welcome to Our Powers." Um, you know. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to talk more of Upper West in the album, like our tourist site, how beautiful and hospitality we are in Upper West, and I think Upper West is one of the peaceful region in Ghana. Mm -hmm. You know, we never have no fight, no blah blah blah. No, and then, yeah. <laughs> so, and we like have that. we have hippopotamus. Mm -hmm. Um, I think we have the second largest hippo hippos in, oh, in yes, Ghana. Yeah, yeah. And, and then we have the Bulu Slave uh, Defense War, which is still there. So a lot, a lot, a lot of things. So I'm going to talk more in the song, and then to project and sell my region. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Um. No, the song that I love is Sundong. Sundong. I can't even say it. Sundong. <laughs> Sundong. Yeah, yeah that's. So tell uh, us a little about the meaning behind that. Song. And Sundong. I think that's the last video I released. I haven't released any video yet, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and it's doing well. I think people love the message, even if you don't like the song, but the rhythm or how I sing it, you love it. Yeah. So it talks about. Um, the kind of world we live in now. Uh, you can see people eat together, dine, dance, do everything together, but you know, they have hatred among themselves. And we've seen people helping each other or someone helping someone, and you know, the person has to pay that person with uh, how will I say, uh, yeah. Karma. Yeah, so yeah. that that's just briefly that's how Sundom is. Mm -hmm. So okay. and that's the kind of music I do. Yeah. Now me and you, we just met up at a charitable event. Um, so tell us some of the things about your charitable endeavors that you. Uh, I'm, I'm that kind of artist who always, you know, like to support. I don't have, but if I've seen any opportunity like this, I have to also contribute my part as use my talent to contribute. So you help other artists to come. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because um, just recently we I was there with you meet and greet with Erna, which you see a lot of big men in the industry that came through. 
So that's how I do and I didn't check them but I knew that I'm going to get something bigger than what I would have even checked yeah. And in the recent I did a donation also the other last month or so um, in, 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 in some deprived schools in my district where was um, we are here to do more 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 a lot of things there so with the support of people friends and you know loved ones yeah so that's how we do it yes now like i was saying sometimes i don't understand the words that you're saying because you're saying you're speaking in one oh, yes right? sir you got it yes. <laughs> So what inspires you to write this song? This song is this one. This one is going to be in English, or this one's going to be in what? Mm, you know, soon I'll I'll um, um, I'll come up with English song, but not all English song because I I I. You wanted to bring it to your people. Yeah, yeah, yeah I want. Yeah, and I want to sell my language because if someone in let's say someone in uk playing sundom or dune and he say what kind of language is this blah blah you know that attract the brand to the next level and in 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 all my website it also like uh, I, I explain the songs mm -hmm. for them and you can see angelo kijo let's just use angelo kijo for example uh, recently she won the grammys like she has almost about four grammys or so um, and she sing in her local dialect. Just it that. speaks to your yeah. soul. Anyway. So music is something that it should be. It's a, it's a universal, universal language. language. Yeah. You don't have to, to hear the yeah. words. You don't have to hear the lyrics to to understand it. It's speaking to your soul. Yeah. So yeah. So those I think the, all those artists, legendaries. Um, motivated me in singing in my own that I see yes. like Tekenja, Manziva, um, Salif Keita, Alpha Blandi, Yusundo, yes. all of these artists are great great musicians and they are rich 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 yes. Yes. artists. Yusundo is the richest artist in Africa to say but he sing in his own dialect. Most, most of his songs are that. Yeah. So I think those Legends, you know, motivated me writing in my dialect. Yeah, that's that's great. That's great. Um, so I I would like to ask you also: Have you ever been to Jamaica? Have you ever been outside of Ghana? Mm, uh, not not yet, but I have a lot of friends. Um, I'm friends with this guy, um, Kenyatta Hill, son of Joseph Hill Culture. And, and, and we do communicate and I've even collaborated with one artist from Jamaica, Biona. You know, we are in the technology world, so how would I say we are in computer, so mm -hmm. um, he did her part and I did mine, so and we mastered it over here. So I think Jamaica is a place I'll soon love to visit and work there at the Tough Gang Studio, which is a dream and I know God will in Ishala it will come on uh, but i've performed in some african countries um i've performed in mali waga kodiva and then singa but i haven't performed outside africa yet but i know soon very soon we'll be touring the caribbean with a man ziba so which yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. listen i i've been to jamaica when I went to Jamaica, I had locks too <laughs> at that time. Yeah. I, I was um, locked up. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, sometimes. Um, but anyway, um, would you be willing to do some freestyle? I remember you went, at the event we went to Saturday, you yeah. did this awesome yeah, freestyle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I How call it. By music, I mean, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's we, uh, we, we, I think it's an intro I have uh, wrote this uh, how many years ago since 2004 that I uh, wrote this mm -hmm. and I call it Proverbs so it, I use it to do entrances Proverbs. of my performances mm -hmm. I would love to hear it too yeah. oh shit, shit, shit. Okay. <laughs> 
Kako komali ga ubakana sana Sana nindi riba manka Kuku jari ako Dua bala umani me Kinali boli for the morning Una lewa me Sana batara ya monka Panda ramina dana yuwa Dugo bala masachia Sao bala kura tengmawa Kadimbe na buki danjo Banya kwa layala Kwa layali yanka niya sana Ni chawe tori Dunaba iwe chama mba etawa Bina iya dalti nja wakati Tidia, tini niba na ndabi ya dune poye banga Wajaga da pareti za na gari Bebu ya dune ya rastafari That's nice, that's nice Okay, that was awesome So before we sign out Where can we purchase your music And how can we contact you on social media? You know, you can get my songs on All the digital platforms Like Deezer, iTunes And T T da or how they call it, <laughs> or oh, just all the the the, the music platforms. Uh, so and 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 my Twitter is at Badengo B A D I N G U and Instagram Ibrahim Badengo and then um, YouTube Badengo and then uh, my Facebook page Ibrahim Badengo. So. Or you just Google Badingo, you will get a lot of me. Yeah. Okay, come back, whole family. We're going to leave you now. And God bless until we see you again next week. Thank you. Thank you. That's the fact. Hey, yeah. Sala 
family. Today we have with us an artist, uh, Marvin, from the Eastern Region of Ghana, and um, we would like for him to, as always, tell us a little bit of something about yourself. So, the name is Marvin, like you said, Marvin Azari, from the Eastern Region, but what to be precise. But currently, I'm in Dansona, Accra. So, um, where did you go to school, Marvin? Um, I went to GHS at Salvation and I don't know who. Mm-hmm. And continued secondary school at the Godless Sec in the Eastern Region. Okay, did you learn your art at school? Uh, actually, I learned a little bit. But... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so when did you become an artist? Uh, it's kind of like a new thing. It's from my dad, who got it from was, my um, granddad. What was it? From your granddad? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, so why? So, okay, so you chose to be an artist because your granddad was an artist. What type of art did he do? He was into painting and then portrait drawing. Okay, okay so um, how do you work best? Do you work best in acrylic, ink? Um, yeah, I do on acrylic. I do on the pencil as well. Okay. Um, so, are you currently, do you, are you on any social media? Um, do you follow any social media trends? Yeah, I'm following it. Okay. Do you post your art on, on social media? At all? Yeah, often. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Um, so, and what do you do for a living other than do you have a secondary career with an art? Yeah, currently I'm working with an agency, recruitment agency. Okay. So when so when you find time for your art, do you need quiet? Do you need uh, open space? What what? Actually, I read best both, whilst individual or in a car. Um. So can you tell us a little about the purpose behind your work? Uh, what does your work aim to say? What do you want to say with it? Okay, it shows the landscape and sceneries we have in this world. Such as um, the lighthouse mm-hmm. at Accra, mm-hmm. Kwame Kumar Museum still at Accra, mm-hmm. and some other buildings somewhere in Kumasi, Accra okay. Bay, even the palace okay. at Accra. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. And um, if you could, could you do could you do this for me? Uh, yeah, I think I could do it for you. Mm-hmm. Okay, and um, if you can tell us what's the purpose behind your work, what uh, what does it bring out of you? What is your um, 
What do you want to say? What do you want me to get from it? I, it shows how beautiful our landscape and our terrace sites are in Ghana here, mm -hmm. such as the lighthouse I mentioned. Okay. It's one of uh, Ghana's largest tourist sites that tourists always visit when they come to the country. Okay. Um, all right. And um, hmm. so, so if I were uh, seeing your artwork for the first time on social media, and I was in the United States and I saw the lighthouse um, portrayed by you, then maybe that might want to, that might bring me, oh, that's very nice, I would love to come. Exactly. Uh -huh. uh, so, that's the exact features of the lighthouse itself. Mm -hmm. The front side and the back, and the middle blood. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And um, so it would be like um, 3D? Yeah, it's 3D. Uh -huh. Okay. And it's collapsible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And so if I were in the US and I'm looking at your work on, on social media, is there a way while I'm, while I'm there that I see your work? Is there something there that I would be able to see? Oh, I can come here and go there and I can meet Marvin and I can get this particular artwork. Exactly. Okay. Um, so, when you paint or when you uh, project your work, what what feel, other feelings do you intend to convey with the with the uh, planning of it? Um, what do you want me to get from it? What what feeling? Just that Ghana is a lovely place to visit. Um, okay, the feeling is actually that you, it's not everyone that gets to come to the turret site itself. Mm -hmm. But from the look of the artwork, you will get to know how it looks like and how it was made and everything. Mm -hmm. So even from wherever you are, you know how the lighthouse or whatever uh, portrayed looks like in real. Okay, right. okay. and um, and so we've, that pretty much tells me how the artwork reflects what you see around you. Uh, because you are um, you're doing portraits of things that you see every day in yeah. Ghana. Uh, so, what is your biggest influence? Who is your biggest influence? To okay, um, actually, my dad. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what, what what about what does he do? Does he? Uh, he's very good at acrylic paints. Okay. Yeah, he can make a portrait and. He, he would be back to even difficult to even see the difference between mm -hmm. the abstract itself and then the real thing. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. um, it's, and is there any particular uh, person or thing that is your biggest inspiration? Yeah, Magdalene. Who is it? And it's an Italian um, drugs man. Oh, okay. He's also uh -huh. into the paper craft. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, um, that's, you know, that's good. I have never heard of him, but I will look him up. Sure. <laughs> um, I'm going to take out a small break here, a combo and we will come back with Marvin in a few minutes. Welcome back to Komabako. We're here with Marvin, who is telling us about his artwork. Um, Marvin, is any of our artwork in galleries? Where do you display your work? Okay, I don't have any art gallery. I don't have any art in any art gallery at the moment. Okay, so you don't have a a place where you set up and display anything. Okay, we we have this festival I've been doing at Accra every year. Mm -hmm. Called the Charlotte Festival. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I normally take it there and then showcase it. Not for sale though. Okay. Just to showcase okay. it. Um, so, um, let's see. so, how are you financing your work other than if you do the festival? Do you actually, because you said you don't sell it in the festival, how do you finance it, in other words? Actually, when it comes to art, actually, I. 
I also do face painting. Okay. That one I do and I, I get a little money. Okay. Like okay. I remember one time I had a contract at a crumble mm-hmm. every mm-hmm. Sunday for four months. Okay. And every day I had the money that I was taking. Mm-hmm. I was using the money to finance my art and my craft. Okay. Okay. So is it a donation that you you someone can offer or say that? Say I want my face painted. Do you have a? You don't put a price on it. Do you just do it by donation? How do you do it? Okay, with face painting, it depends on wherever I'm going to do it. Okay. Like churches like this, uh, a number of hundred hundred people, mm-hmm. hundred children, as a price. Mm-hmm. And when it comes to shops, schools, and then restaurants, normally, mm-hmm. like the one I had that I was talking about, the four months one, it was a restaurant. At KFC, okay. yeah, it was it was a uh, a program to promote their their buying. Okay. Their okay. Face. All right. That's 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 good. Okay. Um. So and right now, are you working on any projects? Anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on a particular project. It's it's not coming well, but I, I know it's it it doesn't get pushed through. Okay. I'm trying to come up with a comic book museum. Okay. Which is really giving me a hard time, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. It takes a lot of calculations and analysis and a whole lot, but I'm still pushing very hard. Mm-hmm. 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 And do you have anyone who is encouraging you, backing you at the moment? Any yeah, my mom, answers? my mom. Wonderful. My Wonderful. mom is inspiration. Okay. And then um, you had told us about earlier about um, what you like to um, you know what, what your artwork is. The ar- architect of a fraud. Do you? How do you seek out new opportunities? So you've already say you've already um, did a three D portrait of the lighthouse. Or do you uh, ever you know, decide? Okay, I'm going to do a painting with this. Or I'm going to do something else with this. Actually, the lighthouse came into mind when. The third edition of Charlotte Festival was coming up. Mm-hmm. Everybody was talking about this lighthouse, lighthouse, people taking pictures of the lighthouse and all that. So I decided to come up with a 3D dimension of the lighthouse. Okay. So I had to go all the way to Accra, study the lighthouse for about a week, mm-hmm. the ins and the outs, the side view, even climb up to where the light is, okay. and all that to come up with a better structure of the lighthouse. We're gonna have a look at the the the, um, the lighthouse, the lighthouse sure. um, 3D image in yeah. a in a minute. And we're gonna have a look at it. Okay, we're gonna have a look at that in in a few minutes. Um, now, how do you uh, how do you get a collector base? How do you because uh, you have to showcase your work in order for people to say, "Oh, I like that. I want to collect. I want to." Put that in my uh, my art collection. How do you do that? How do you get your work out there to be? Like I said earlier, the art festivals. That is one. I take pictures of it. And how videos. often are those? It comes every year. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, every year. And it's hosted for a week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people come to showcase any type of art, mm-hmm. paper crafts, portrait art. Mm-hmm. Acrylic painting, landscape, and any type of art. Okay, what about um, do you ever um, do any competitions? Actually, I've not been to any, I've not even had any competitions in Ghana. Okay. All, all I hear is fun fairs and art festivals. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Um, so, uh, let's see. So, how, how do you, do you, Study other artists. I know we had talked. We had talked about this. So, do you, how um, do you navigate um, the art world? How do you study other artists and what they do? Do you, you know, um, do you do sit down with their work and say, "Oh, I could try to do something like that with this." How do you do it? Okay, like Damien mm-hmm. Barra Model. Uh, he inspired me to start his paper art and craft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's very good at it and he's done so many paper crafts that 
when you see you're going to go wow mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. so i just look at some of his videos and then i try to imitate some of his works and yeah that's how come i was able to start with the paper craft okay okay these are the things that i don't know so i'm glad you're you're here to explain um so okay um so i want i want you to present some of the artwork that you have now with you we wanted to show um and we will do that after we take a little break and when we come back i'll have you show us um some of the artwork that you have with us with with you sure okay we're going to take another break and when we come back marvin is going to show us some of his artwork back to Akoma Bako. Um, Marvin is going to show us some of his work. Marvin? And you explain, please. Like I was saying, this is the lighthouse. Ah, nice. As you can see, it's all thing that because it's, it's been four years now since I made it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. The third edition of the Italian Winter Festival. That is when I made this. It's like that. Very nice. And it's, it's like a uh, 3D folding so card. Stop the door. Mm-hmm. And I leave it in my face. It's just good to see the door and the windows. Okay. Then as it is as a car like house. Okay. Great. So we get back to. You see windows. Okay. Just as nice. it's at a car like that. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it's been four years, that's why it looks all turned up like this. Yes. But I have another one that is current. Mm-hmm. It looks nicer than this one. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. So the inspiration for this particular practice is um, during the year 2016. Mm-hmm. Everybody was talking about this lighthouse, lighthouse, going to Charlotte Festival to enter this lighthouse. Event. It's not everybody that gets to go to the lighthouse because during that time you have to pay before okay. you climb. Yeah, so I mean, this so that people that who will not get the chance to go near or go into this particular building yes. will have a feel of how it looks like and everything. Okay. And the reason why I mean it because I've never so been to, I've been to the lighthouse, but I've never actually been mm-hmm. in. So in the top where you have the the round part here, can people actually go up there? Yeah, people oh, walk okay. around here. Uh-huh. In, in the middle here is where the light is. Okay. But I couldn't attach uh-huh. a light or cover it up because if I did, I wouldn't be able to go with it. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. And the reason why I made this collapsible like this, mm-hmm. I had to travel with it from wherever I was to Accra. Yeah. And making it just like this was going to dismantle or get it done. So I have to make it in a way that it will be collapsible. And it will stay clean. And it will be very easy to yes. use for patient. Yes. Such that anywhere I get, I can just put it down and open it and you still have your 3D. Right, 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 right. Okay, I got you, I understand. Very nice. Can you show us some more? So this is another one. This is one of the recent ones. I made it just last year. Uh-huh. Still because of the Charlotte Festival. Uh-huh. Ah, how nice. But this one actually doesn't portray any building or any kind of game. Uh-huh. It's um, Magdemian made uh-huh. a copy of this and it was so nice that I also wanted to do it. Even uh-huh. though it gave me a hard time, but I, I still, the, I, I was determined, so I was able to do it. Uh-huh. This actually took me about a week and three days. Okay. That's uh, almost 11 days. Now, come where up is this um, in a geographic You can look closely inside, you see uh-huh. lots of paper cards holding yes. up this particular thing, this one, this one, and uh-huh. then this one as well. Oh, okay. Yes. And I also made it collapsible to make it easy for transportation because I was going from the house to a child of uh-huh. Nice. Very nice. And the colors here is not just any acrylic paint or any color. It's just a color. Mm-hmm. 
that I used. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Great. And so far, this is the biggest among all the backup that I have. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So I also made this when I made the one you saw before this one, the yellow one. Mm -hmm. Ah. Um, nice. Actually, this one also doesn't talk about anything, but it's it's, it's all about the flow. Yes. I see when you're opening it. Like a pyramid. Yes, exactly. Very nice. Of course. Very nice. If you don't think that you might think it's an alien ship. So I, I was basing on the flow. Mm -hmm. That is how come I came up with this particular craft. Very and this nice. is not just the only one on this particular paper. Okay. Ah. Now that we one reminds me. Too, which also doesn't talk about anything. Even though some people mm -hmm. say it looks like a building in the back. I don't know. It how looks that's like true. a building I've seen before. Nice. It's like ah. Uh, but actually, I was just looking at the flow. Yes, very nice. But it seems like something I've seen before. Face up again. Yeah, yeah, I get that a lot. Yes. And the next one. Nice. It's just a box in the box in the box. Ah. Okay. Just like saying when you want to hide something from the black man. You put it in the package, in the package, and then in the package again. <laughs> And the last one on this particular paper. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very nice. Oh. I, I see a place here too, <laughs> but I'm not sure. It's very nice. Actually, this one also gave me a hard time that I pushed through successfully. It's it was also nice. based on the flow. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So, with with your books like this, like this is almost like a um, a, a book. Um, how much, like the range, or the, the price range of something like that? Could you get like that? She comes to sell this. It's Four crafts in one paper. Mm -hmm. uh, this will go like from 200 cities to 600 cities. Okay. So I'm saying that in a particular market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Um, so do you want to show us any more? Do you have anything else? Uh, the one that is uh, a portrait hat. Ah, very nice. Is this, is this of a particular person? Uh, with this particular portrait, I was inspired by the water flowing in the lady's face. Yes. Very nice. Oh, can we hold it up? So this drawing took me uh, a week in three months. Wow. I used seven days, but in three months. Now, and this is done in pencil? Yes, just pencil. Very nice. Graphite and charcoal pencil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. And then what is it laminated? How is it laminated? Is it, uh, what, what type of lamination? Oh, it's just a rubber lamination, just mm -hmm. to protect the hat. 
in case it, it, it's destroyed by oil or oil into water. Okay. Uh-huh. Very nice. Okay. All right. So now I want to ask, where can we go to follow follow you and um, say if someone is interested in purchasing any of your artwork, um, tell us where your website, your uh, social media handles are. Okay, my social media handle is Facebook, Keto Kid. Keto Kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Instagram, Keto Pencils. Keto Pencils. And then Twitter, at Keto Pencils. Keto Pencils. Spell that? K- Keto. K H Y D O. K H Y D O. K H Y D D. Okay. Well, come back with family. We will be back in a couple of weeks or a week or so with a new guest. And we thank you for uh, having us. And we appreciate all of your likes and appreciate your subscriptions. Please continue to like us and subscribe at Acoma Barco on YouTube and to visit our website at acomabarco.com. Thank you so much, Marvin, for coming and talking to us and showing us your wonderful artwork. And we will see you uh, next week. Thank you. Today we have with us a unique singer and musician from Northern Ghana. He and I met some time ago on social media. Could you tell us about yourself? Yeah, 
Badingo is the name from Upper West in Northwest of Ghana. And I'm a reggae artist and a performance, you know. Okay, could you tell us where you were born? Um, I was born in, in up, up down south, Kumasi, Bokrum. Yeah, so I'm a Bokrum guy, yeah. And, you know, so, and I started my basic education and senior high school back in Upper West region. Yeah, so after completion, I have to come back down south, down Sakura, you know, to continue the vibes. Okay, and um, so why did you choose to become an artist? Uh, back back at school, like primary level, you know, I used to uh, be part of the school drama, you know, by then, early 90, in the 90s, in Ghana, we have a cultural program they used to, you know, like bring all schools together mm -hmm. to compete. Uh, so, and I was always part of the drama group. So, and I think that, that the, the, the journey started there. Mm -hmm. So, and then I take it up from there. Okay. So, how do you work? How do you, what, what inspires you? Um, do you have a, a studio that you work from? Mm, specifically, I, was, I have a band that I play with, but I um, don't have my personal studio also, so mm. I have a band which I, when I'm, I'm, when I'm having a concert which mm. I'm to play live, I use the band, I use my team and we go and play. But I record in different studios also, so I don't have a personal studio for now. Mm. But I hope one day maybe I might have it. Okay, and now do you write your own music? Yeah, 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 all songs I did. Uh, Written all my songs, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And what inspired the song? What brought? The song? I would say life. Yeah, you know my kind of music um, is I would say is motivational. Is it your songs. own life? Is it uh, else's life? It's just life. Just life. What in the society? Mm -hmm. I wake up in the society to write my songs, mm -hmm. and even if it's a love song but you know uh, it's different not those kind of like how will i say uh, profane songs no i don't do those kind of songs but mm -hmm. even now to sing a love song but it has a meaning it has a storyline yeah and what genre of music would you consider it to be um i'm reggae and afrobeat that's what i do yeah. And sometimes a little high life because high life is our thing and we don't want it to go so we combine everything together yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then in my music some of you put some African element on it like instrumentation per se so my year to release album I'm putting up more African instrument on it like the gong gong the xylophone and stuff like that mm -hmm. to 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 you know change the dynamic like from uh, not to westernize it i just want to do something rhythms from the northern ghana or rhythm from ghana you see yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay and can you um can you tell us some of the people that you've worked with already in the industry oh uh, a lot back at north i've worked with some of the artists there like um legendary abu sadiq I've worked with uh, um, King Aisova. I've worked with another artist from a lot of artists in Upper West also. Imura Ayana, Yongali, um, Game Boy Kaute, Samson B. There's a lot of artists in Upper West where I'm from. So I've done a lot of work over there with them. And, and back in Accra to or Africa, I've worked with um, Samini and I'm here to release a song but that one will be different project with Ismail Isaac one of the legendary reggae artists in Africa so and, and, and a Jamaican artist also we call her Empress Abiona she's in Jamaica so we did a project mm -hmm. which will be part of 
my upcoming album yeah okay and then is there any one artist who has motivated you to keep doing what you're doing or any mm -hmm. one yeah 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 i have so many mentors but i think amanziba not brew is a very conscious traditional high life artist and uh, he's my musical godfather. Then I have taken Jaffa Koli, I would say King of African Reggae now. So these are the two people that motivate me a lot. And my cousin Samini too, I think he has motivated me a lot because uh, the first time I come to Accra, I was staying with him for some time before uh, I depart myself back to the north. And I return back and I'm now staying different place with him but we do link up sometimes yeah mm -hmm. so and how was it working with Amanzi? Yeah, yeah Amanzi what did you, you know what was the fire I've, was? I've learned a lot and he has given me a lot of opportunities also um, you know me performing with Grams Morgan or the Morgan Heritage family and Amanzi by himself Ben Braco at any best on one stage is 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 a plus and not only that, Amanziba has put him on levels that I never dreamed that I would have even been on. So I always give time for for, for that, and, and and soon we'll be touring the world also together uh, with, with with Amanziba. You know, he has given me a lot of opportunities, and and me and him we have a lot of countless uh, music in the studio yet to be released. So he is a godsend, and he is a father to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. That's great. <laughs> okay, so uh, Uncle Family, we're going to go to a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Komobanko. Uh, we are here with uh, Ibrahim. Badingo. Badingo. She can't pronounce my local name. It's Badingo. Badingo. Yeah, it means uh, your desire or your will. Like, as we voted for the politicians, they are there doing their own thing. They are there doing mm -hmm. their world and their desire, something like that. Yeah. Badingo. Badingo, yeah. Badingo, 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 madingo, and so go. <laughs> okay, okay. So I wanted to ask you, so how do you finance your product, your projects that you are doing? How do you get them financed? You know, I would say, uh, you know, like, like sometimes we have few sponsors coming on board to support, but it's not easy, you know. So and, and I, I I do some to personally my my with the small resource I have mm -hmm. I add it up to the funding that I get from friends and sponsors to you know uh, come out with with, with that yeah okay okay um and do you have any upcoming festivals planned um you know last year I did festival up I was which was massive but not the way i want it to be because everything beginning you know mm -hmm. uh, has the difficulties and stuff so um, the second edition will be coming somewhere in october in 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 in, 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 in the upper west region which i think it will be great 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 so we hoping and praying to get a lot of sponsors so that we can bust it up yeah that's good okay so, um, I know that you do the Peace Project every year. Will you be doing um, this project again this year? Yeah, um, you know, uh, 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 I started this initiative in, in, since 2012. So, the 2012 election, I did um, one, which is Norian, which means unity. Mm -hmm. uh, and I always target my region, that's Upper West Sun. The first edition, we tore some part of the districts, and and then a P song was released, which featured about eight artists from the Upper West, and 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 and, and uh, when was that 2012? Mm -hmm. And we have when was the 2016 also? 
I did another one and then I think uh, we are in election year again and then, and then I'm coming out with something again and with this we have a peace song recorded and then uh, we shoot a video um, come up with a concept in Tumo and Wa Tumo is the Sasara part one of the districts in Upper West and then we have we we'll climax the concept in Wa the regional capital yeah mm -hmm. okay. so you've told us some about the past collaborations you've done um, do you have any collaborations planned in the future? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This album, I'm, I'm, I'm featuring some few artists, not much. Um, I'll be having a song with uh, We Are, uh, we'll having one too with um, Amanziba and King Ayusova. Then I'll feature some few upcoming artists too from the north, yeah. Right. Um, and you, you have you said you have a, an upcoming album, album yeah, which is welcome to our powers. It is titled, it will be a 12 track album, you know, mm -hmm. with title Welcome to Our Powers. Um, you know, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to talk more of our powers in the album, like our tourist site, how beautiful and hospitality we are in our powers. And I think Upper West is one of the peaceful region in Ghana. Mm -hmm. You know, we never have no fight, no blah blah blah. Now, and then, yeah. <laughs> so, and we like have that. we have hippopotamus. <laughs> um, I think we have the second largest hippo hippos in, oh, in yeah, Ghana. Yeah, that, and know. and so, then we have the Bulu Slave uh, Defense War, which is still there. So a lot, a lot, a lot of things. So I'm going to talk more in the song and then to project and sell my region yeah okay all right all right um i know the song that i love is sundong sundong i can't even say it sundong <laughs> sundong yeah that's so tell I, us a little about the meaning behind that song. and sundong i think that's the last video i released i haven't released any video yet and, mm -hmm. and, and it's doing well I think people love the message, even if you don't like the song, but the rhythm or how I sing it, you love it. Yeah. So it talks about um, the kind of world we live in now. Uh, you can see people eat together, dine, dance, do everything together, but you know, they have hatred among themselves. And we've seen people help them each other or someone helping someone and you know the person has to pay that person with uh, how will i say uh, yeah uh, yeah so yeah. that that's just briefly that's how sundown is mm -hmm. so and that's the kind of music i do yeah now me and you we just met up at a charitable event um so Tell us some of the things about your church or the endeavors that you uh, I'm, I'm that kind of artist who always, you know, like to support. I don't have, but if I've seen any opportunity like this, I have to also contribute my part as use my talent to contribute. So, you other artists to come, yeah, 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 because um, just recently we. I was there with you, meet and greet with Erna, which you see a lot of big men in the industry that came through. So that's how I do. And I didn't check them, but I knew that I'm going to get something bigger than what I would have even checked. Yeah. And, and then recently I did a donation also, or the last month or so, um, in, 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 in some deprived schools in my district, where I was. Um, we are here to do more, 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 a lot of things there. So, with the support of people, friends, and you know, yeah. loved ones, yeah. So, that's how we do it. Yes. Now, like I was saying, sometimes I don't understand the words that you're saying because you're saying you're speaking in one. Oh, yes, right? I you get it. Yes. <laughs> 
So what inspires you to write this song? This song is this one. This one is going to be in English, or this one's going to be in what? Mm, you know, soon I'll I'll um, um, I'll come up with English songs, but not all English songs because I I I. You wanted to bring it to your people. Yeah, yeah I want. Yeah, and I want to sell my language because if someone in let's say someone in UK playing Sundom or Dune and you say what kind of language is this? Blah blah. You know, that attract the brand to the next level. And 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 in all my website it also like um, I I explain the songs mm -hmm. for them. And you can see Angelo Kijo, let's just use Angelo Kijo for example. Uh, recently she won the Grammys like she has almost about four Grammys or so um, and she sing in her local dialect just it that. speaks to your yeah. soul anyway. so music is something that it should be it's a, it's a universal it's a language, language yeah. you don't have to, to hear the yeah. words you don't have to hear the lyrics to to understand it it's a speaking to your soul yeah. so, so, yeah so those I think the, all those artist legendaries um motivated me in singing in my own that i see yes. like tekenja manziva um, salif keta alpha blandi yusundo yes. all these artists are great great musicians and they are rich 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 yes. artists yusundo is the richest artist in africa to say but he sing in his own dialect most most of his songs are that yeah so i think those legends you know motivated me in writing in my dialect yeah that's that's great that's great um so i i would like to ask you also have you ever been to jamaica have you ever been outside of ghana and mm, uh, not not yet but i have a lot of friends um, i'm friend with this guy um, Kenyatta Hill, son of Joseph Hill culture, and, and, and we do communicate. And I've even collaborated with one artist from Jamaica, Biona. You know, we are in the technology, uh, so how would I say we are in computer? So, mm -hmm. um, he did her part, and I did mine, so and we mastered it over here. So, I think Jamaica is a place I'll soon love to visit and work there. At the Tough Gang Studio, which is a dream, and I know God will and Inshallah it will come on. Uh, but I've performed in some African countries. Um, I've performed in Mali, Waga, Cote d'Ivoire, and then Singapore. But I haven't performed outside Africa yet. But I know soon, very soon, we'll be touring the Caribbean with Amanziba. So, which, yeah. I've been to Jamaica. When I went to Jamaica, I had locks too mm -hmm. <laughs> at that time. Yeah. I, I was uh, locked up. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, sometimes. Well. But anyway, um, would you be willing to do some freestyle? I remember you went, at the event we went to Saturday, you yeah. did this awesome yeah, freestyle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We, I, I call it. By music, I mean, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's we, uh, we, I think it's an intro I have uh, wrote this uh, how many years ago since 2004 that I uh, wrote this mm -hmm. and I call it Proverbs so it, I use it to do entrances Proverbs. of my performances I would love to hear it oh shit shit Sana nimbi riba manka dukujari ako Dua bala umani me Kinani boli for the morning una lewa me Sana gotara ya monka panda ramina dana yuwa Dugo bala masachia Sao bala kura tenga mo Kadimbe na bugi danjo banya kwa layala Kwa layala yanka niya sana ni chewe tori Luna eba iwe chama mimba etawa Bina iya dalati nja wakati dia Tini niba nanda biya dune Poye banga, bajaga the parrots and a guy be buya buya Rastafari. That's <laughs> nice. That's For nice. Me. Okay, that was awesome. Uh, so before we sign out, 
where can we purchase your your music and how can we contact you on social media? Uh, you know, you can get my songs on all the digital platforms like Deezer, iTunes, and T Tida or how they call it, <laughs> or just all the the, the, the music platforms. Uh, so and 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 my Twitter is at Badengo B A D I N G U and Instagram Ibrahim Badengo and then um, YouTube Badengo and then uh, my Facebook page Ibrahim Badengo. So, or you just Google Badengo, you will get a lot of me. Yes. Okay, come on, whole family. We're going to leave you now, and God bless until we see you again next week. Thank you. That's the
Talk for Family. Today we have with us an artist, uh, Marvin, from the Eastern Region of Ghana. And um, we would like for him to, as always, tell us a little bit of something about yourself. So, the name is Marvin, like you said, Marvin Lazare, from the Eastern Region, but what to be precise. But currently, I'm in Dansona, Accra. So, um, where did you go to school, man? Um, I went to GHS at Salvation and I don't know who. Mm-hmm. And continued secondary school at the Godless Sec in the Eastern Region. Okay, did you learn your art at school? Uh, actually, I learned a little bit. But... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so when did you become an artist? Uh, it's kind of like a new thing. And so my dad, who got it was, my um, granddad. What was it from your granddad? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. So why? So okay. So you chose to be an artist because your granddad was an artist. What type of art did he do? He was into painting and then portrait drawing. Okay. Okay. So, um, how do you work best? Do you work best in acrylic, ink? Um, yeah, I do on acrylic. I do on the pencil as well. Okay. Um. So, are you currently? Do you, are you on any social media? Um, do you follow any social media trends? Yeah, I'm following it. Okay. Do you post your art on, on social media? At all? Yeah, often. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. So, and what do you do for a living other than do you? Have a secondary career with an artist? Yeah, currently I'm working with an agency, recruitment agency. Okay. okay. So when so when you find time for your art, do you need quiet? Do you need um, open space? What what actually I read best both whilst individual or in a car. Um so can you tell us a little about the purpose behind your work? Uh, what does your work aim to say? What do you want to say with it? Okay, it shows the landscape and sceneries we have in this world, okay. such as um, the lighthouse mm-hmm. at Accra, mm-hmm. Kwame Kuma Museum, still at Accra, mm-hmm. and some other buildings somewhere in Kumasi, okay. Accra, the, even the palace okay. at Accra. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, and um, if you could, could you do could you do this for me? Uh, yeah, I think I could do it for you. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, and um, if you can tell us what's the purpose behind your work, what uh, what does it bring out of you? What is your um, what do you want to say? What do you want me to get from it? I, it shows how beautiful our landscape and our terrace sites are in Ghana here, mm-hmm. such as the lighthouse I mentioned. Okay. It's one of uh, Ghana's largest tourist sites that tourists always visit when they come to the country. Okay. Um, all right. And um, hmm. so, so if I were uh, seeing your artwork for the first time on social media and I was in the United States and I saw the lighthouse um, portrayed by you then maybe that might want to that might bring me that oh, that's very nice I would love to come exactly. uh-huh. uh, so that's the exact features of the lighthouse itself mm-hmm. the front side and the back and the other side okay mm-hmm. okay and um, so it would be like um, 3D. Yeah, it's 3D. Uh-huh. Okay. And it's collapsible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And so if I were in the US and I'm looking at your work on, on social media, is there a way while I'm, while I'm there that I see your work? Is there something there that I would be able to see? Oh, I can come here and go there, and I can meet Marvin, and I can get this particular artwork. Exactly. Okay. Um. So, when you paint or when you uh, project your work, 
what what feel other feelings do you intend to convey with the with the uh, planning of it? Um, what do you want me to get from it? What what feeling? Just that Ghana is a lovely place to visit. Um, okay, the feeling is actually that you. It's not everyone that gets to come to the tourist site themselves. Mm -hmm. But from the look of the artwork, you will get to know how it looks like and how it was made and everything. Mm -hmm. So even from wherever you are, you know how the lighthouse or whatever uh, portrayed looks like in real. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, and so we've, that pretty much tells me how the artwork reflects what you see around you uh, because you are um, you're doing portraits of things that you see every day in Ghana. Uh, so what is your biggest influence? Who is your biggest influence? To okay, um, actually my dad. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what, what what about what does he do? Does he uh, he's very good at acrylic paints. Okay. Yeah, he can make a portrait and he, he would be back to even difficult to even see the difference between mm -hmm. the abstract itself and then the real thing. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. um, it's, and is there any particular uh, person or thing that is your biggest inspiration? Yeah, my Damien. Who is it? And it's an Italian um, drugs man. Oh, okay. It's also into the paper craft. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, uh, that's, uh, you know, that's good. I have never heard of him, but I will look him up. Sure. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a small break here, a combo and we will come back with Marvin in a few minutes. Welcome back to Komabako. We're here with Marvin, who is telling us about his artwork. Um, Marvin, is any of our artwork in galleries? Where do you display your work? Okay, I don't have any art gallery. I don't have any art in any art gallery at the moment. Okay, so you don't have a a place where you set up and display anything. Okay, we we have this festival I've been doing at Accra every year. Mm -hmm. Called the Charlotte Festival. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I normally take it there and then showcase it. Not for sale though. Okay. Just to showcase okay. it. Um, so, um, let's see. so, how are you financing your work other than if you do the festival? Do you actually, because you said you don't sell it in the festival, how do you finance it, in other words? Actually, when it comes to art, actually, I. I also do face painting. Okay. That one I do, and I, I get a little money. Okay. Like okay. I remember one time I had a contract at a crown mm hall -hmm. every mm -hmm. Sunday for four months. Okay. And every day I had the money that I was taking. Mm -hmm. I was using the money to finance my art and my craft. Okay. Okay. So is it a donation that you you someone can offer? Say that. Say I want my face painted. Do you have a, you don't put a price on it? Do you just do it by donation? How do you do it? Okay, with this painting, it depends on wherever I'm going to do it. Okay. Like churches like this, uh, a number of 100, 100 people, mm -hmm. 100 children, as a price. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to shops, schools, and then restaurants, normally, mm -hmm. like the one I had that I was talking about, the four months one, it was a restaurant at KFC. Okay. Yeah, it was it was a uh, a program to promote their their buying. Okay. Their okay. Face. All right. That's 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 good. Okay. Um. So and right now, are you working on any projects? Anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on a particular project. It's it's not coming well, but I, I know it's it it doesn't do push to it. Okay. I'm trying to come up with a comic book museum. Okay. Which is really giving me a hard time, but I know how little people push to. Yeah. Okay. It takes a lot of calculations and analysis and a whole lot, and I'm still pushing very hard. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And do you have anyone who is encouraging, backing you, 
at the moment. Mm. Yeah, my mom, my mom. Wonderful. My mom is an inspiration. Okay, and then um, you had told us about earlier about um, what you like to, um, you know, what, what your artwork is, the ar architect of, of fraud. Do you, how do you seek out new opportunities? So you've already, say you've already um, did a 3D portrait of the lighthouse, or do you uh, ever, you know, decide, okay, I'm going to do a painting with this, or I'm going to do something else with this? Actually, the lighthouse came into mind when the third edition of Charlotte Festival was coming up. Mm -hmm. Everyone was talking about this lighthouse, lighthouse, people taking pictures of the lighthouse and all that. So I decided to come up with a 3D dimension of the lighthouse. Okay. So I had to go all the way to Accra, study the lighthouse for about a week, mm -hmm. the ins and the outs, the side view, even climb up to where the light is, okay. and all that to come up with a better structure of the lighthouse. And we're going to have a look at the, the, the uh, the lighthouse. The lighthouse. Sure. Um, 3D image in, yeah. a, in a minute. And we're gonna have a look at, yeah, okay, we're going to have a look at that in, in a few minutes. Um, now, how do you uh, how do you get a collector base? How do you, because uh, you have to showcase your work in order for people to say, oh, I like that. I want to collect, I want to put that in my, uh, my art collection. How do you do that? How do you get your work out there to be? Like I said earlier, the art festivals, that is one. I take pictures of it. And how videos. often are those? It comes every year. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, every year. And it's hosted for a week. Mm -hmm. yeah, people come to showcase any type of art. Mm -hmm. Paper crafts, portrait art, mm -hmm. acrylic painting, landscape and any type of art. Okay, what about, um, do you ever um, do any competitions? Actually, I've not been to any, I've not even had any competitions in Ghana. Okay. All, all I hear is fun fairs and art festivals. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Um, so, uh, let's see, so how, how do you, do you study other artists? I know we had talked. We had talked about this. So, do you, how um, do you navigate um, the art world? How do you study other artists and what they do? Do you, you know, um, do you do sit down with their work and say, "Oh, I can try to do something like that with this." How do you do it? Okay, like Damien mm -hmm. Barrow model. Uh, he inspired me to start his paper art and craft. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's very good at it and he's done so many paper craft that when you see you're going to go wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So I just look at some of his videos and then I try to imitate some of his works and yeah, that's how come I was able to start with the paper craft. Okay, okay. These are the things that I don't know, so I'm glad you're, you're here to explain. Um, so okay, um, so I want I want you to present some of the artwork that you have now with you. We wanted to show, um, and we will do that after we take a little break. And when we come back, I'll have you show us um, some of the artwork that you have with us. With you, sure. Okay, come We're gonna take another break, and when we come back, Marvin is gonna show us some of his artwork. Back to Akoma Bako. Um, Marvin is going to show us some of his work. Marvin, and you explain, please. Like I was saying, this is the lighthouse. Ah, nice. As you can see, it's all turned out because it's, it's been four years now since I made it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. The third edition of the Italian Winter Festival. That is when I made this. It's like that. Very nice. And it's, it's like a, a 3D folding card. Mm-hmm. That is my first. 
We just need to see the door and the windows. Okay. Then as it is at a car like house. Okay. Great. And we get back to you see windows. Okay. Just Very as it is at a car like house. Mm hmm Like I said, it's been four years, that's why it looks all turned up like this. Yes. But I have another one that is current. Mm -hmm. It looks nicer than this one. Okay, okay, very nice. Thank you. So, the inspiration for this particular practice um, during the year 2016, mm -hmm. everybody was talking about this lighthouse, lighthouse, going to Charlotte Festival to enter this lighthouse. Event. There's not everybody that gets to go to the lighthouse because during that time you have to pay. Okay. You try. Yeah, so I mean this so that people that who will not get the chance to go near or go into this particular building yes. will have a feel of how it looks like and everything. Okay. And the reason why I mean it because I've never so been to I've been to the lighthouse, but I've never actually been mm -hmm. in. Yeah, so in the top where you have the the round part here, can people actually go up there? Yeah, people oh, walk okay. around here. Uh -huh. in, in the middle okay. here is where the light is. Okay. But I couldn't attach uh -huh. a light or cover it up because if I did, I wouldn't be able to close it. Okay, okay. Thank you. And the reason why I made it collapsible like this, mm -hmm. I had to travel with it from wherever I was to Accra. Yeah. And making it just like this was going to dismantle or get it done. So I had to make it in a way that it will be collapsible. And it will stay clean. And it will be very easy to yes. use for patient. Yes. Such that anywhere I get, I can just put it down and open it and you still have your 3D. Right, 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 right. Okay, I got you. I understand. Very nice. Can you show us some more? So this is another one. This is one of the recent ones. I made it just last year. Still <laughs> because of the Charlotte Festival. Ah. But this one actually doesn't portray any building or any kind of game. Mm -hmm. oh, it's um, Magdemian made a copy of this and it was so nice that I also wanted to do it. Even though uh -huh. it gave me a hard time, but I, I still, I, I was determined, so I was able to do it. Mm -hmm. This actually took me about a week and three days. Okay. Uh -huh. That's almost 11 days. Now, come where up is this? this um, in a geographic you can look closely inside, you see lots of paper cards holding yes. up this particular thing, this one, this one, and uh -huh. then this one as well. Oh, okay. yes. And I also made it collapsible to make it easy for transportation because I was going from the house to the child of uh -huh. Nice. Very nice. And the colors here is not just any acrylic paint or any color, it's just a color set that I used. Okay, uh huh. Okay, great. And so far, this is the biggest among all the packets that I have. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So, I also made this when I made the one you saw before this one, the yellow one. Mm -hmm. Ah, um, nice. Actually, this one also doesn't talk about anything, but it's, it it's all about the flow. Yes. I see when you're opening it, like a pyramid. Yes, exactly. Very nice. Of course. Very nice. If you don't think that you might think it's an alien ship. So I, I was basing on the flow. Mm -hmm. That is how come I came up with this particular craft. Mm -hmm. And this is not just the only one on this particular paper. Okay. Oh. Now that we one reminds me. Too, which also doesn't talk about anything. Even though some people mm -hmm. say it looks like a building in the back. I don't know it how It's just like true. a building I've seen before. Nice. It's like, ah. Uh, but actually, I was just looking at the flow. Yes. Very nice. But it seems like something I've seen before. Face up again. Yeah, I get that a lot. Yes. 
in the next one. Nice. It's just a box in the box in the box. Ah. Okay. Just like saying when you want to hide something from the black man, you put it in the package, in the package, and then <laughs> in the package again. <laughs> And the last one on this particular paper. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very nice. Oh. I, I see a place here too, <laughs> but I'm not sure. It's very nice. Actually, this one also gave me a hard time. But I pushed through successfully. It's it was also nice. based on the flow. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So, with with your books like this, like this is almost like a um, a, a book. Um, how much, like the range, of the, the price range of something like that? Could you get like that? She comes to sell this. It's Four crafts in one paper. Mm -hmm. And this will go like from 200 cities to 600 cities. Okay. So I'll send it in a particular bucket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Um, so do you want to show us any more? Do you have anything else? Uh, the one that did, uh, a portrait hat. Ah, very nice. Is this, is this of a particular person? Uh, with this particular portrait, I was inspired by the water flowing in the lady's face. Yes. Very nice. Oh, can we hold it up? So this drawing took me uh, a week in three months. Wow. I used seven days, but in three months. Now, and this is done in pencil? Yes, just pencil. Very nice. Graphite and charcoal pencil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. And then what is it laminated? How is it laminated? Is it uh, what, what type of lamination? Oh, uh, it's just a rubber lamination, just to protect the hat in mm -hmm. case it, it, it's dissolved by oil or fall into water. Okay. Uh -huh. Very nice. Okay. All right. So now I want to ask, where can we go to follow follow you and? Um, Say if someone is interested in purchasing any of your artwork, um, tell us where your website, your uh, social media handles are. Okay, my social media handle is Facebook, Kido Kid, Kido Kid, yeah, mm -hmm. Instagram, Kido Pencils, Kido Pencils, and then Twitter at Kido Pencils. Kido Pencils. Spell that. K Kido K H Y D O. K-H-Y-D-O. K-H-Y-D-O. Okay. okay. Well, come back, with family. We will be back in a couple of weeks or a week or so with a new guest. And we thank you for uh, having us. And we appreciate all of your likes and, and your subscriptions, please. Continue to like us and subscribe at Acoma Barco on YouTube and to visit our website at acomabarco.com. Thank you so much, Marvin, for coming and talking to us and showing us your wonderful artwork. And we will see you uh, next week. Thank you.